What's up, Final Two Crew? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Ty, here with Nick and Ryan. That's right. Hello. It's been a long time since we've done Jerry Rafferty. So we did Baker Street and right down the line. Now we love Baker Street. That's got all kinds of views and everything, and that's you know one of our highest on the channel. Yep. Classic. But right down the line, it, it's grown on me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and if you guys remember, uh, at the end of that video, I was like. Yeah, I think I like Baker Street a little more, which, you know, at the time, that was probably true. But again, with some of these songs, you just listen to them yeah. and listen to them they and listen to some more. And I'm like, you know what? This one's just more of my style. Mm. Yeah. It's just a nicer vibe. Yeah. Baker Street is incredible, yeah. but uh, I have grown to like right mm. down the line Me a too. lot. And it's funny because we had never heard that song before, yeah. and I've actually heard it just like out in public. And also in TV and movies. Matter of fact, uh, in this season four, part two of Ozark, uh, it actually is in there. So, all right then. Oh. Just say it. So, we're not actually going to do Jerry Rafferty today. We're going to do his band, Steeler's Wheel. Have you guys heard of Steeler's Wheel? Uh, I have only because of this song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never heard of them. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that this was who sang it or the band, I just knew the song. Right. So I didn't even know who Steelers Will was before. A little bit about Steelers Will. They were a Scottish rock band formed in 1972 by former school friends Jerry Rafferty and Joe Egan. Do you know anything about Scotland? No, I know nothing all? about Scotland. Not even the kilts. <laughs> Not even the kilts. <laughs> there were several other members that came and gone, but those two were the core of the band. Yeah, they were stuck in the middle. <laughs> and believe it or not, they weren't around for very long due to tensions between Rafferty and Egan. So all this time, you yeah. know, they were friends in school, got into a band, and it didn't last long at all. So maybe they just, you know, maybe yeah. that was just not in their favor. It makes Egos. sense. Yep, yeah, makes sense. And Rafferty left before the first album was even released. So he recorded with them and oh, then wow. just bounced wow. before it even published. So he get no money for that then. Well, no, I'm sure he got paid, but, you know. I hope so. He's just like, I'm just doing this on my own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> and that first album was self-titled debut album, Steelers Will. And we'll be doing a song off that album. You've already said it, and you already knew we were doing it. <laughs> it's stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> so the cover of this, as you can see, is a painting by John Patrick Byrne. Apparently, he's pretty popular and... You know, old times. He was from, born in the 40s, so, I mean, way before my time. But he painted this album, and the words, Steeler's Wheel, uh, are embedded ten times in that album. So this song was a lot in pop culture. This song was in Quentin Tarantino's first movie, Reservoir Dogs. It was in Reservoir Dogs, and it's in one of the most popular scenes of the movie. Yeah. If you know, you know. It's also in other movies and tons of popular TV shows, like Gilmore Girls, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and Malcolm in the Middle. Appropriate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Ryan, have you heard the song? No, I've not. <sighs> I don't know about that one. Man. Yeah, I think you might have heard this song. This is Steeler's Wheel, Stuck in the Middle with You.
Feasting. He wasn't, wasn't like feasting plastic. on nothing. Plastic. That yeah. was a plastic chicken. <laughs> what a baseline. Yeah, they say that base is strong in there. <laughs> just bouncing all over the place. Yeah, it just kind of seems like the, you know they're just being wacky. Yeah, and they're just having a good time. You yeah. saw Jerry; he's like, <laughs> "Man, what a head of hair!" Yeah, That's what I said. Two so I was gonna say his hair is crazy. My goodness, well, like me during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Hey, hey, it was getting kind of a. <laughs> it was getting crazy. Jerry like. <laughs> it was getting Jerry like. You know? There were some videos where I, I thought I saw something like coming out. Fly out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just like everything in this, just it just has a nice bounce to it, a nice little swing, and it's yeah, got yeah. that kind of uh, you know countryish steel guitar thing. Yeah, it's yeah, folk. folk. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds kind of folky to me. Sure. It's like, ding, 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 you know? Yeah. Was that a cowbell in the post chorus? If so, that is one fat cowbell. <laughs> yeah, so. some cowbells are huge. <laughs> yeah. That was one of those uh, Mississippi State cowbells. Oh god, we're not stopping that. No, no, we're not. <laughs> you had to no. get off that frame. <laughs> you like that? Just, you like that? Oh lord. <laughs> this one's much better. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I know you guys are probably like, why are you guys so distracted by the video? No. We're, we're listening to the music. We know the music is great. It's a fun song. This, this video is wired. The video is making it even better though. <laughs> No, what's the bottle? What, what is going on there? What's that called again? Well, steel guitar. I mean, usually yeah, it's like steel a, guitar. Yeah. Usually it's steel guitar. I'm not yeah. sure what's happening here though. Steel guitar with a bottle. Yeah, this is kind of filmed like a B horror film <laughs> back in the seventies. I really don't know what's going on in this video. There's a lot of food. Is this drug induced? I mean, that, that might that might have something to do. Maybe. With it. Gotta say that's one of the most interesting videos we've had on the channel. It's up there. <laughs> oh, no. It is up there. It's genius though because you're not forgetting that. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, B grade horror film in the '70s slash psychedelic slash country ASMR eating mukbang video. <laughs> I'm not sure what was happening in this, but uh, I'm not gonna forget it. 
I'll tell you that much. But yeah, that's just a fun song. I mean, I don't see how you can't get down with that. It just kind of has a, a nice little variety. When I think of this song, I just think of how bouncy it is. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say it for the third time. It's <laughs> bouncy, and it just kind of gets you moving. You know, it's, it's a little strange. It's just got a lot of nice flavors in it. It's uh, It's been on the playlist. Oh, yeah. It's been on the playlist for me, too. The sneakiness of the, of the little subtle things are, are just make this song really good. Yes. There's like little tiny... Bam, Yep. You know, just that little guitar. That right there is just yep. making it better. And you've never heard this song? No. Never. No. How? <laughs> never heard this song. Well, what do you think, Ryan? Uh, it's not... I'm not big on it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Maybe you were distracted from the video. You need another listen. <laughs> I don't think I need another listen. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's not terrible. It's just not something I would listen to. Like, could you imagine you pulling up in this song? Mm, maybe. Now, I can da- I dance to anything. I got there, and you know what I'm saying? I got there and bounced with it. But it's not something that I would particularly listen to. It's just, it's okay. It's not great. You like Jerry by himself better. Yeah, probably. You have to try to create a dance to this. That That's a challenge, right? You know what it reminds me of, though? When it comes, like I can see this in like Three Stooges. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. That's what it reminds me. Goofy. Of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see this being like the intro to the to the to the one of the shows one time. Three Stooges is legendary, by the way. If you haven't seen, you've seen that. Larry, yeah. Curly, and Mo. That's right. Fire. What's, who are we? Well, Ryan's Larry. So it's Larry, <laughs> Curly, and Mo. Yep. Okay. No, it is silly, but that's that's the intent, though. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I can imagine when people saw this, they were just like. Yeah, what I, is this? I don't know, but I, I like the song. This song is fun. <laughs> and I do like Jerry's vocals. You know, this one is more subdued. It's almost like he's just having a day where he's, like, kind of being lazy, like not caring about anything. It's almost like if you were, like, singing a song in your head, but the words were, like, coming out <laughs> somehow. <laughs> yeah, Stiller's Will. Um, I'm not sure if they had anything else. They did, but like I said, it, not very popular. <laughs> Well, I mean, he already left. Yeah. He left before they even started. Right. right. Yeah, Jerry Rafferty, I would say, is uh, three for three for me. Yes, and three for three. Ryan, we'll have to wait and see. For Two and a half for Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.